So we're back in uh, my launch box, big box, uh, front end, and we're just going to check out some more PS2 emulators. PS2, um, I've been playing it quite a bit, and I've had some success with it, and I've had some issues with it. Um, like I mentioned before, getting the PAL version is very important, so God of War 1 and 2 both work, as long as you have the PAL version. Um, I had some graphical issues with Godfather. I just want to do some more gaming examples there. Um, someone suggested um, Ratchet and Clank, I think, in the comments. Sadly, I haven't been able to put that on yet, um, but I have got Jack Free, and you get similar performance from Jack Free and Ratchet and Clank. I'm not sure why. Maybe because they're just difficult to run um, PS2 games. But sadly, Jack Free doesn't run as well as I was hoping it to. And that's even with some adjusted settings. It also starts in, I'm guessing, some Asian language. <laughs> so there's probably a bit of an issue as well, considering I don't speak this language. And sadly, I have no idea what I'm even reading. This might be a problem. Oh, wait, it's just started again. No worries. Um, it doesn't matter that it's in Asian, we'll, or in an Asian language, but you can see the performance. Uh, yeah, it's hitting about 30 FPS here. The graphics don't look as well as good as they should either. You're getting some texture issues on the uh, on the ship. Some popping issues and some shadow issues as well. Um, like this doesn't happen often on PS2 games, but sometimes they're just a game that doesn't run run well. Metal Gear Solid, for example, it seems to be really difficult to run. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, that was an all-rendered gameplay cutscene, and it's not running that well. So it kind of gives you an idea of how the game will run itself. So we've got some gameplay here. The slowdown's quite bad. I'm running speed hacks at about 4, and the resolution is maybe native. Um... Let me just check on that one for you. So you can see I've got the plugin settings. I'm actually running at two times native, so let's just drop that down to native and see if we get any improvements. So it does look a lot worse, but you're getting about 40 FPS here, 38. It does actually seem a bit more playable. See, it lags and just drops there a bit. I mean, it sits around 40. I'm pretty sure it should be at 60. I mean, if you're desperate to play Jack Free, I mean, it's, it's kind of playable. But I definitely wouldn't play it like this. So, I'll have to give that uh, probably a no-go. Unless you've got some magical settings that I don't know about. So, a game that's been running really well for me, and I've been playing it quite a bit, is uh, Kingdom Hearts. It's actually really, really well optimised for this emulator. Um, the only issue I've been having with this game is the fact that... It crashes sometimes, but I'm not sure if that's because I'm, I've got it stored on a USB instead of uh, the SSD. Maybe there's some issues with speed, uh, with the speed, or maybe there's some issues with my actual USB stick. Um, but yeah, the game runs fine, and this is not even two times native. So let me put it on two times native, and then we can see how nice it looks. Here's the game running at two times native. Sits around 45, 48. It's definitely playable. It feels a lot more smoother than, than Jack Free. Um, but like I said, I've actually played some of it, so you can see it's actually playable. I mean, it was sitting at 60 there for a second, so... Alright. It's the problem with these old games. You have to re-talk to someone twice, and you just don't realise that they have anything more to say, and you just, you're just looking around the room for no reason. So yeah, it's, as you can see, the FPS is 60 here, and I might be able to get into a fight if I can manage it with one hand. So, I'll just try a little fight, that's excellent. So you can see I'm attacking. And it drops to about 59 at two times. Definitely playable. Very nice experience. So yeah, that Kingdom Hearts 2. 
King, sorry, Kingdom Hearts 1, but yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 definitely works as well. Um, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. A new emulator that I've added to the uh, GPD Win 2 is actually the Wii U. Surprisingly, we can get some games running on here. Pretty decent settings. They look sick. Um, so yeah, Super Mario 3D World, Mario Maker, and Zelda. Wind Waker HD. You can play this on the GameCube, but I mean, it runs perfectly fine on this as well. So if you want the nicer graphics, definitely suggest you get in the uh, CMU emulator to run these. I'll just show you an example. I'll load up 3D World and we'll... So here's 3D World. As you can see, I've got the FPS in the top right corner. And I'm just blown away that this, em this device can actually run something like this. It's pretty insane. So if I just select me, Mario. I've got it set as the Pro Controller because it fits the layout really nicely. And yeah, so you can see I've been playing it already and it works. Um, I'll just go into a level and show you show you some of the gameplay. I think I, I can't remember what um, what resolution I'm running at. I think I'm running at um, native 720. Yeah, definitely running at native 720 with the graphics pack on. Um, but as you can see, the top right FPS we're getting 60. Pretty insane. I can't play with one hand. I'm gonna have to invest in a tripod. Um, yeah, ZL, please. Seriously. Uh, ZL's the back button, right? Yeah, there we go. As you can see, like, it runs, it runs amazing. I'm playing a, a portable Wii U right now. How sick is that? Um, obviously you could get a Switch, but sadly this game isn't on Switch. Uh, neither is any of the Zelda titles, like Wind Waker or, or Twilight Princess and stuff like that. Um, Twilight Princess does run on the Wii U emulator, but it's it's definitely a lot better to run on the GameCube emulator. Just, I don't know, must be something about the the textures and the the bigger 3D world that they've managed to render with that. The graphics, I guess, makes it harder to run. But yeah, as you can see, this runs really well. I could play the whole game through like this. So we've got Wind Waker loading up now. Uh, FPS is in the top right corner again. You can see that. I think we average around 30 FPS on Wind Waker, which is, I guess, the average FPS, I think. I don't think it goes to 60. Um, you could probably hack it to 60, but this console isn't powerful enough. As you can see, I've already been playing it. Um, because it is playable, uh, you can see we're, hit, we're hitting 30 FPS. Drops down a little bit, but that's only because there's lights in the area. Um, as soon as you move away from them lights... It's 30 FPS again. I'm going to get spotted, aren't I? God's sake. Yeah, so you can see it's playable. I'm going to get thrown right back to the start, I think. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's Wind Waker HD. Everyone likes Wind Waker. I've actually been thrown in a jail cell. Um, it literally plays just like the Wii U version. If not, looks better because it's on a smaller screen and running at 720p. So yeah, very impressive. This was the uh, CMU emulator. I'll just jump into some of my settings to show you uh, how to run these games at the highest settings. So these are just some of the emulator settings I use for CMU. Um, you might want to just note these down or come back to this video if you want to set up yours. CPU mode, single core. I've also got this, the, the hook uh, installed in the pretty much every tutorial ever that tells you to set up CMU has these settings but I've just adapted them a little bit for the for the uh, GPD Win 2. Uh, obviously the graphics packs are important for the, each game you've got to set up its, its own graphic pack. If we go to uh, Win Worker, uh, Workarounds, there's an FPS slowdown, Intel fixes, you want to tick both of those. Um, and then the resolution 720. You can drop that down if you want better uh, FPS, but works fine. I've got it on shadow resolution, resolution on 0.5. So yeah, pretty much the same, the same with the other game as well. But yeah, this was the CMU emulator running on the GPD Win 2.